guys, thank you for joining me in this video. Um, today, what I'm going to do is create a um, halo eye makeup look and also I'm going to show you how to apply my eyelashes. So the first thing what I'm going to do is prepare my face and I'm going to clean it and cleanse it with one of the Botanic All Bright Toner. So the next step, what I'm going to do is use Estee Lauder Eye Serum and um, Pixie Skin Treat Hydrating Milky Serum just to prepare my face and give extra hydration. So for the next step, I'm going to go directly into the foundation. I'm not going to be using any primer um, because I did hydrate my skin a lot already and the serum that I use, I use also as a primer. So for the, uh, for the foundation, the one that I'm going to be using is going to be the Magic Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm going to be mixing two shades depending obviously on the lighter and the darker shades because that I find mixing two shades together for me um, gives a better, a closer match to my actual skin. For the brush, what I'm going to be using is going to be one of these kind of fluffy brushes. Um, they're actually quite dense, so they, it will take the foundation and really pat it on your face. And then to even it out, I'm going to be using a sponge to take that excess that I don't need. Make sure that you blend everything properly and the most important, blend into your neck and jawline so there is no harsh line. So do double check everything. and really take and um, anything that I don't need off. And when I'm happy with my foundation, what I'm gonna do is contour uh, slightly around my cheekbone and I'm going to highlight the areas I wanna highlight and conceal. For this step, I'm gonna be using two of my favorite products. One of them is the Contour uh, Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. And then the other one is Magic Away Concealer by Charlotte Tilbury as well. So I'm applying right under my eye around here, just to give an extra highlight. And I'm not really making any triangles or any kind of shape. I'm just applying where I think it should be highlighted. Just a little bit on my nose to make it a little bit thinner, just like this. On the chin, a little bit on my forehead. And then I'm gonna be using this very, very lightly. it's very pigmented but when I'm going to blend it out it will blend perfectly just watch so to blend out I'm going to be blending the highlight first and then I'm going to be blending the contour so for the blending I'm going to be using uh, one of the sponges and I'm just gonna dab it lightly like this into the back underneath the eye and very very gently So now that I blended my highlight, what I'm going to do now is blend out all the contour and I'm just going to be gently patting it like this. As you can see, it's liquid, but it moves very well. You need to be able not to go too high and not too low. So kind of like right where your cheekbone is. And the best way to find it, if you do the fish face like this. See how beautifully already blended, so you give a little bit of a contrast of the face. So now I'm going to be doing the other one and the forehead as well. Circular motions and just within that contour. Don't go too high and don't go too low. 
So now that I've kind of sculpted my face and gave a little bit more of a definition, I'm not done yet. Um, I'm going to be using um, contour powder later as well to kind of contour my nose and give extra contour at the end um, when I've done my eyes. Also a great tip, if you do go with your contour um, low or high, do you, you can use the same sponge that you've done your highlight and kind of remove and create that definition with the sponge. So you will see it will kind of take the excess that you don't want and tidy up. So when I'm happy with the contour and the highlight, what I'm gonna do is make sure that I set the areas um, that will move. So for example, if you have um, a lot of liquid on your face and you know that you um, create more oils or you sweat a lot throughout the day, setting your foundation and contour is super important. So what I'm going to do is use the Huda Beauty Sugar Cookie uh, Translucent Powder. I find that this works the best for me and it doesn't dry your face too much. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit, be very careful with this because it can drop everywhere. And also, um, while I am setting my eye, I'm gonna create an eye guard when I'm doing my eyeshadow, which I'll show you later. So I'm putting a little bit in my lid. And for this step, you don't need to put as much as I will, but because I'm gonna have a more of an intense eyeshadow, it will be easier for me to remove any kind of eyeshadow droppings under the eye and clean it better. But you can just use a little bit with the brush and just kind of set it the areas where you need. So for the next step, I'm gonna be using a sponge for me because I really want that intensity of the powder to stay on my face. So I'm applying under my eyes, I'm applying just under the cheekbone as well. Here on my chin. just to give a better um, contour. I know that it looks crazy and I'm gonna be leaving it like this, um, but don't worry, like you will see the actual outcome when I finish my eyes. Also with a translucent powder, I wouldn't use it too much on my older clients. It's because um, the skin doesn't create as much oil, so I don't want, I wouldn't like to dry out their skin. I would probably do the eyes first, and then I would do the foundation and more of a kind of a dewy um, and just set it very, very lightly where, where it only needs. So to groom my eyebrows, um, I do prefer to use a pencil, um, but more of a harder pencil because it gives a bit more deficient and you can move it easier. If the pencil is too soft, what will happen? It will melt off your face and you will see that if you are out and if you don't set it, it will kind of smudge all over your face and you don't want that. So I brush the eyebrow first. Make sure you brush it upwards. And I just lightly, lightly, like you're sketching, fill in the brow only where it needs to be filled. So that's the eyebrows done. Um, so for the next step, what I'm gonna be doing is using the brow gel to kind of keep the hairs together and groomed and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. So for when I'm happy with my eyebrows, what I'm going to be doing now is the eyeshadow. Um, and what I, which palette I'm going to be using is the Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. I absolutely love this palette. It has the shades that I like the most. You can see. And the shades, it's, it's entirely obviously up to you what you like to use with for the halo eye. But I'm gonna be probably using one of these kind of colors. 
I'm mixing them together with these light ones. So I'm going to be applying a base color, which is going to be the lighter shade. And I'm really applying to all the eyelid to give a base color. And as you can see, I am blending in circular motions, mostly focusing on my eyelid in the where the crease is. So this part here. You can see already that it's creating a nice blended base color. I'm kind of blending all over and then I'm taking it outwards to elongate my eye because I find that my eyes are quite small. And my advice is always do the other eye step by step. So for example, that I've done one color on this side of the eye, I always try to do the same for the others because if you are mixing a lot of shades together, you don't want to forget what you use on the first eye. And it's really easy to mix up if you have very similar shades. So now that I've done my base color, I'm going to be going with a more intense um, shade in inner corner and outer corner and just kind of blending it to create a halo eye, you will see. The shade that I'm going to be using is going to be this more burgundy brownish color. On this side and then the same here and now what I'm gonna be doing is blending these two shades within the actual pigment not taking them too far um, up or where I, for example, don't need that pigment. I'll show you how I blend it. You can see that it has taken a lot of pigment already away with the blending. So if I want more, I'm gonna be applying more intensity in the same place. I'm blending it out within where the, where the eyeshadow is. It's already starting to create a nice halo look and I'm going to be applying a little bit more pigment again. I'm blending it out in the same, same place. And I'm going to be using for the, the top of the eyelid and also for inner in inner part, just to give a little bit more definition. Okay, so when I'm happy with the eyeliner, what I'm gonna do is use the same brush that I used for the intense pigment, and I'm just going to lightly blend um, under the eye, um, under eye area as well. So now that I'm happy with an eyeshadow, and I know that nothing will and draw because I won't touch it. I'm going to take off this powder. So it's easy as this. So as you can see, it took everything off as I wanted and there is no dark pigment under the eyes. And do the same for the other one. Um, so I'm gonna be using a contour powder by MAC this and I'm going to be sculpting the areas that maybe the pigment was taken away uh, from before and also give a little bit of a contour for my nose. I'm using one of these shades here and you'll see just very very gently.
giving back the contour in the areas. And I'm going to be using a smaller fluffy brush. It can be one of your eyeshadow brushes to really contour the nose because I find it that it's easier to control. So I'm starting from the brow, where the brow starts. And I'm taking it down, obviously, depending on your nose shape, you really need to know your nose shape. I would like to obviously slim my nose. So I'm creating the shadows. So when I obviously contoured my nose, make sure there's no harsh lines. So do blend, blend, blend until you're obviously happy. So for the next step, I'm gonna be using um, a blush just to give a little bit color in my cheek and also a highlight, just to highlight a little bit of my cheekbone. And um, so the palette I'm gonna be using is the Instant Look in palette so basically it has seven products and i'm going to be using the blush from here and highlight from here it's a great little traveling palette if you're on the go because it has the eyeshadow the the bronzer the the blush so it has everything that you really need so i'm going to be using one of the fluffy brushes for this i'm just going to take a lighter shade of the blush and just slightly above where your contour is and very, very gently. Make sure that you don't dip your brush too much because you don't want to like bright and cheap. Now I'm gonna be using the highlighter and again, I'm going to be using one of the Charlotte Tilbury brushes as well for this. And just above where your blush is. It's already giving you a nice glow. Cupid bow as well. Okay. Look. So the pencil, the lip pencil that I'm using is actually from Kiko Milano in shade 534. So it's like one of the closest shades that will match with this. And this one is Hue the Beauty um, Anniversary shade. Very beautiful shade. So I'm starting to with aligning my lips. Just a little bit overlining and not too much. Don't over uh, overline your lips too much. applying my eyelashes so to start off with I'm going to curl my eyelashes so to make sure that they are kind of facing upwards because then it's easier to apply the glue and stick them on properly so I'm going to be using the curlers and the curlers that I'm using is um, from my brand Eva's makeup and I am just holding them and taking them outwards. Okay, and do the same for the other one. Next step, apply mascara. So I chose the Maybelline mascara because it really works um, for my eyelashes. I've tried so many, um, but they seem to work the, the best for me. 
So I'm gonna apply properly. The way that I apply is build it up, but make sure that you do it fast enough so it doesn't dry and doesn't become clumpy. So the eyelashes that I'm gonna be using in, are going to be the F18 volume lashes and they're in this beautiful packaging. So you take them out and like this. You take them out of the packaging like this. You remove this strip very gently from the inner corner like this to the outer corner so it has his shape make sure you put it back in the shape like this so what you can do is just twist it like this so you can see they're very soft and light Now what you do is really important because eyelashes come in a standard size for all eye shapes. You need to measure it against your eye and see how much you have to cut to make sure it fits within your eye. So for example, this style has longer outer corner and shorter inner corner, right? So it looks like this. So how we're going to cut it is from outer corner only, okay? So as I know already what eye shape I am and how you measure it is just basically pop it on your eye and as you can see it's obviously too long so I'm going to cut around here And also, I'm going to cut the sharp corner from the inner corner. So just, just, just the, uh, the, the sharp edge that it's popping out. Okay. So now that the eyelash is measured, I'm going to apply glue right on the band. I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm applying a little bit of the glue in the back of my hand. I take the lashes like this. I take um, any kind of tweezers or the lash applicator and I just put it all around the band. You can put directly glue on the band as well. It's entirely up to you. It's just whichever way you find it easier. The more you practice, the more you will find it easier. Make sure it's right on the band and focusing on the outer corners because you want all the outer corner to stick. Okay, so it looks like this. Clean obviously your side where the glue was. You can use your hand or you can use the applicator. And I'm going to be waiting 30 seconds for the glue to get a bit tacky because it's easier and it's fastest way to, for the eyelashes to get stuck on, okay? Just wait a little bit. So now that I know that it's attacking enough, I'm going to press the eyelashes against my... And don't worry, this takes a little bit of the while of the practice. making sure it's close as possible. To the inner and outer corners. And now if the glue is dried, what you do is you take the applicators and you just kind of push you in the false lash together with your actual natural lash. So it's nice and stuck. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm gonna be doing the other eye as well. So yeah, that is the final look. What do you guys think? I'm gonna put a question box, obviously. Is there any questions you wanna ask me? Is there any um, interest of showing or explaining how to do something again? Do let me know and I'll be happy to answer all your questions. But yeah, thank you again for watching.